In this video, we will extend our discussion on the behavior dependent test cases with spec flow. Today, it's, we are going to discuss how to define the new feature file to uh, existing spec flow project. How do you create different steps onto a new feature file and what are the different ways basically to provide the different parameters to your Gherkin steps. This is my existing spec flow project which I would like to use for this demonstration. To create a new feature file, I can simply right click on this feature folder within my project and click on the add new item. That will give me the option to select the type of new item I would like to add. In this case, I'm going to add a new feature file for specs flow. I can define the name of my feature file. So let's say that my feature file is test random feature file. I'll click add and that will be added to my feature container or feature folder. This is the random feature which we have added. Now, if you compare this new feature with the existing feature file that we have used in the previous videos, these feature file has got the code behind files created automatically. Whereas the new feature which we have added, these does not contain any code behind file. So this code behind files are auto-generated code behind files. So let's say this is my feature file which has been already created. Now if I compile this feature file or this If you look at carefully the build output, my feature file has got now the feature.cs file which has been auto generated which means that after building the project for the very first time once I added the feature file it has generated the .cs file and that's built in functionality of your spec flow extension which we have added. Now the feature file has got the tag which is a default tag name uh, the feature name and nothing is as such from the description point of view and the, even the gherkin context and action and outcomes are also empty at the moment i can define the gherkin format the way i want to uh, just to show you this is my another feature file where i've added the gherkin format with the different scenarios so scenario as an all done this is the name of the scenario and then given i have i am out for shopping i have egg i have milk i have butter when i check my list i don't need anything this is one of the scenarios which i would like to automate to run the testing now if you look at these carefully here i am using the star star represent or replaces the need of end operator or it is nothing just it is giving me an option for a, another given condition nothing else so this is just another way to define the given end another scenario on the same feature file you have the account balance given then and all right now you may want to have a somehow similar features let's say this is a feature for checking the shopping list what i need and what i don't need and let's say i have a feature i would like to test or uh, in that scenario i would just want to have a shopping list what i need to bring or what i'm looking for still then what i can do i'm out for the shopping so that will remain same i have egg i have milk i have butter and then i would say i have sugar let's say as soon as i type a new scenario here in the gherkin format it shows the scenarios in the purple color which means that the 
specflow have not found any step definition for this particular step whereas if i go back to my previous scenario let me just open it in a vertical panel so that we can compare here it's all showing in a white text which means that scenarios for all of these are already defined i can simply go to the definition and verify what what is that particular scenario talks about in terms of the implementation this is the implementation for each and every scenario as of now we do not have any implementation that is why by default it is throwing in throw new exception but if i have to decorate or define in terms of defining this step in this scenario all my steps are defined whereas in this scenario only this particular text is showing in a purple color which means that i have to define this step for this line and why not for this the reason for that is because as i am writing the exact same gherkin syntax so it is going to use the same step definition implementation what it has been written for the other scenario which means that you cannot have a duplicated scenario with a two different step definition a step definition cannot be duplicated a scenario features a gherkin syntax can be duplicated but the step definition within that it cannot be duplicated in case if you need to then you have to change make some modification to your uh, gherkin text what you are trying to write so let me add a new syntax here like we have done in our previous demonstration i can click on define step and that will define the step for all my remaining part which is not been added to the step definition you can see that i cannot simply there are two options like we mentioned previously as well i can copy to clipboard and add to existing step definition file or i can click on create and that will create this step definition under this particular file so let me just copy that rather than creating a new scenario so what i'm going to do is i will add my step definition here and as soon as i do that that should reflect the changes to my gherkin syntax as you can see the definitions are reflected and the text color is been changed now now Coming back to the point, the option wherein how do we pass the step data to the scenarios. So the option here is you can, the, we have four to five different options to pass the parameters or pass the data. First option as Gherkin is already been or this spec flow is already determined the number values as in parameters to your test case and it provides when it generates the out step definition it sends that this is this could be a parameterized value and th this is how according to this it generates the value let me show you that if i click on the step definition so step has already been defined i'm getting the message here so let me go to the step here my account balance is off this you can see that my account balance is of pound sign and then there is a strict sign which means that this is going to be a variable value so this is option number one you can pass the value as in any numeric value and then it will be automatically checked but what if i would like to pass a value as an end and then i want to say if it is not sunday so let's say i would like to check a, sp a specific text value then what i can do is i can pass the text value as in single quote or double quote to make this value text value as in configurable or parameterized so let me add that and i'll show you the definition you can see that the value itself is basically reflecting as in parameter so i can copy to clipboard i can go to the definition and modify my step definitions or update my step definition like this 
if it is not let's say day let's call it as in day so this is option number two you are passing numeric you are passing as in a string let's verify that it's been verified and we have got a successful step defined now the next option what we could have is we may have a requirement to let's say we can say that in double quotes just to show you not saturday let's say okay so now if you look at i have one step defined with the single quote one step defined with the double quotes even though the step definition is the step text are same if it is not if it is not but the the way we are passing the parameters one in single quote one in double quotes because of that it requires to have a two different step definition because the way step definition will be decorated for those variables one will be decorated with the single quotes and the other one will be decorated with the double quotes and that is how we have to define the value you cannot have the same text defined or the same step definition used for single quotes and double quotes that is the point to remember now let's say so i'm defining the step as in then my account balance should have this much and that is after paying my bills worth this and this let me just add in a step now this time if you look at as i'm passing two different parameters my step definition has got a parameters type p0 and p1 which is a two different variables i'm trying to pass from my two parameters in this spec flow again if i compile it will work fine next i could have a scenario something like this let's say i would like to add employees records to the database this is my scenario given i have a connectivity to the backend database which is the employee db i should say available and employee list to insert and this is my list of employees which i would like to insert so these are my employee columns or the configuration values let's say first name last name designation contact and then followed by the number of employee records which i would like to add and then i should have total two records available in the employee table that is what the verification i would like to have so in total i have three different steps which i have defined in this gherkin format so what i'm trying to explain here is we can define this single quotes what we have discussed in the previous example as well as in this particular case i am passing a complex object to my gherkin syntax now if i define the step for this let me define that i should be able to copy all my steps and then i'll go to the step definition and i'll paste it here so this looks like given i have a connectivity to the database which is the database name this which is a variable uh, as it is decorated with single quote then insert a record to the table now if you look at this as i'm passing a complex object it is basically giving me an option to pass or to spec flow is passing that complex object as in table variable table type which is a built-in type in the spec flow and all my data will be available with this table type we'll explore more about the table types in our next videos where we'll we'll go and have a deep discussion on how these table types can be used across the different scenarios just but in this case just to let you know the complex data can be passed like this and the, at last we are passing two different parameters first is the number of record which i would like to verify and in which table i would like to verify the name of the table which is the database table okay so this is again another way of defining my scenarios or defining my feature with the different type 
let me just rebuild the project just to show that my scenarios are building successfully and this purple color text is wiping out as we can see all the scenarios are up to date and it's reflecting the way we would like to have now if i simply expand this test explorer this is what my scenario this is how my all my scenarios looks like this is the one which we have added and i can simply run this that's it in this video in the next video we will talk about the tables using tables with the spec flow in detail thanks for watching it see you in the next video